Hi, I am Daniel Buchan. I am 18. I am majoring in music theory composition. My name is Justin Hicks. My age is 19. I'm a music education major. I'm Kat. I am 20 years old. I'm a music education major. My name is Patrick Jones. I'm a 19 year old freshman music ed major who plays the violin. My name is Alyssa. I'm 26. <laughs> Um, my major is music education, choral. My name is Seth, um, I'm 18 and I'm a music industry studies major. I'm just going to say Sarah. <clears throat> um, I'm 21, I'm music education, um, heart major. Okay, my name is John Saris. My age is 21. My major is computer science. This is Morgan Griggs. Hi. I'm 21. I'm a chemistry education major. My name is Alan Boone. <laughs> my age is 21. I'll be 22 next month. My major is computer science with a minor in mathematics. My name is Alex Ridinger and I am a cello performance major. I'm 21 years old. Until today I had never played music video games or really video games. I'm a mild gamer sort of kind of and I like rock band I own it I play it all the time my experience with video games like I play a lot of strategy computer games like you know Age of Empires basically any RPGs like that Halo I played Guitar Hero a few times too I've played I mean I've played video games on like PlayStation Xbox that kind of stuff but I never really got into the music games my experience with video games and music I play a fair amount of video games. And are they musical? Some of them are. I have played Guitar Hero before, but that's about it. And just dance. I am Melissa Chapel. I'm a music ed major, and I'm 21. Um, I am not very good at video games whatsoever. My experience with video games, music, and musical video games is Video games, I uh, recently beat Arkham City. It was a great experience, and I played a lot of games before that. I love video games. They inspired me to be a computer science person. I have basically no experience with video games. I am decently experienced with video games. I play more than the average person, I'd say. I play video games all the time, and I play music video games almost never. Um, my experience with video games, uh, music, musical, uh, Guitar Hero, what? Rock Band, no. EDR. I like Just Dance, and I like, I like music and video games. I especially like musical video games like Rock Band and Guitar Hero because I'm a musician and they come easy to me. I don't keep a steady beat, so I can't do drums. But apart from that, everything I love, video games. I can do pretty much everything except sing. <laughs> Tempo, rhythm. Yes, um, that I was, was, that I was, was playing was. the drums uh, in the Wii room on the guitar the hero. And I usually have really bad rhythm, so I was struggling at first, but then I started getting the hang of it, and it made it a lot easier. So it helps with rhythm. Drums really gave me an opportunity to use my whole body in a way that, like at first you're kind of stiff, but then you kind of get into the groove of it because the tempo stays the same. And so you can use your arms and your feet and get that kind of coordination while being relaxed and using yourself well, so I felt like that opened up a lot of opportunities for Alexander Technique. Something that Rock Band and Guitar Hero have uh, established and reinforced, really, uh, is that the song does not stop. Like, if, if you're going and then you mess up, you have to get yourself back on track. You have to quickly get back. You can't play every right note if you mess up once. Or kids play with something that's kind of unforgivingly steady, the better their rhythm will be. Because usually bands play with each other, or kids play with each other, and they rush because they're all rushing together. So yeah. What really gets difficult is when you have to include the foot on the drums. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do that. <laughs> this stuff helps me not learn how to play an instrument or get better at playing an instrument, but build the, co the coordination that is necessary 
in order to play the instrument in the first place. Actually playing the instruments, the instrument I'd say is closest to real life is the drums in rock band. That is, uh, because you're actually like playing on a drum set. Because of rock band I can play some simple beats on a real drum set. But my technique is completely undeveloped, and I've in fact gone backwards in that realm because I've practiced the wrong th the wrong things so many times that it's just I do the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. On the instrumental playing technique, I'm a violinist, so on the guitar. Uh, I used to not be able to shift well, and I've been playing Guitar Hero for a little bit, before tonight. Um, and so it helps you shift because you have the five little buttons and you can't get them all without shifting. So it helps to learn like to move your thumb, and it also, yeah, it's, it helps with shifting. It requires perfection, precision, accuracy, and all of those things are, to an extent, necessary when, you, when I play my violin. Singer, I would not... <laughs> Be having sing other singers use um, rock band the vocals. Um, the the way it's kind of set up really encourages you to belt and kind of sing from your throat in order to match the pitch. Um, and it's really just like I can feel it now. I'm like drop two octaves. Like <laughs> like it's just really bad. When you're playing the guitars, like it doesn't you no. don't play like buttons. Um, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Doesn't show you your correct posture. Some people are sitting down when they play, nor sing. In the case of rock band, I don't think that it would help me learn anything about notation or note values. Um, I have just because I'm, I'm responding to a single, a single little box that's coming down the screen and whenever the box comes I hit it, but the box itself isn't indicating any sort of length. Um, and whenever, whenever there is a strip behind it to, to indicate that you hold that note, usually the strip is too far beyond the, the screen because you have to hold it for a while whenever that happens. Um, and so usually I can't see the end of the note that I'm holding whenever I start it, so there's no cognition of length. I just start it when commanded and hit it with, and end it with when commanded. Um, I did find though that whenever I was playing DJ Hero, um, the box the, the boxes there were generally shorter, and so I could I could see the entire box whenever it came, um, and not the box the, the extended. Whenever you hold a note, um, I could see the entire one, the entire length of it whenever it came, and so I would know how long I had to do it, and then generally I would stop paying attention to it um, because I would be able to mentally grasp the length of the note without having to respond to the visual stimulus. I like the harmony <laughs> on Rock Band Three C. That was like pretty good. So if you're like in a vocal class, that might actually be a good. to separate this from my eyes and have it just be a body process, which is another coordination thing. And this gives students a chance to listen and move with really simple goals to create music with a group and feel validated. So I think there is a lot of kind of student empowerment possibilities for really young students. <laughs> answer but when I get the precision out of the way then I can feel the music because the technicalities are not as important and then that gets pushed to the back of my mind and what my mind att attaches to is the feeling of the music <laughs>
age and grade level that I think kids would benefit from. I am really into teaching kids. I teach a lot of kids. And so most of the kids I teach are between, I think my youngest student is three, and my oldest kid's student is probably 11 or 12. And I think for the three-year-olds, obviously not be real great, but I think for middle school, to really get started in middle school would be cool because it really gives them an opportunity to have a really gratifying sound come out of the instrument. So, especially with string instruments, um, you really don't get a very gratifying sound when you start. And so a lot of kids quit because it's like, oh, I'm going to play the violin, or it sounds really bad. Um, so this sounds good when it comes out. And if you make a mistake, it makes a sound or whatever at you, but it's not horrible. And the music continues. The singing sounds good. The drums sound good. Even if you're just doing one, two, three, four in the background, the drums are doing all this other stuff. So you really feel like you're participating in something fun. Some people were listening and observing and watching people learn. And I think there's a lot to be said for watching someone else mess up. If it's really hard, then we try it and we kind of fail. <laughs> Musicality was determined almost entirely by the game and not by me, thankfully. And one problem that I kind of have with the music video games is that they don't allow for like artistic expression. They don't allow for you, and I think I wrote this down somewhere anyway, but um, it doesn't allow you to like take a piece of music and make it your own. It doesn't allow you to put, like, you know, take your artistic license right. and um, alter it in like, subtle different ways. Yeah. Right. You're just following what the TV tells you to do. Right. I think at the basic levels, you could possibly use this stuff. Um, it's like multiple choice answers, but putting a guitar in your hand makes it feel a little more fun. I think it would be really great in performance ensembles because uh, you have a band and it's a smaller band, but there's camaraderie in the musicians that you're playing with. So when you complete a song, like you're all pumped up with your friends, like you've just created music together. <laughs> I like everything about tonight. It was just, I mean, what what's better than getting together with friends and playing a rock band? What, most of all, music major friends. I mean, it's just, it's fun for me. Tonight was a lot of fun. Did you enjoy playing video games today? Yes. Yes, yes we That did. was fun. It was fun. <laughs> Tonight, um, yeah, thanks a bunch. I'll